colocarmos. I'm from Sabah, it is Kokane, I'm also JJ, and welcome back to another Clash Royale episode. Scratch that, I'm not in KK right now, I'm actually in Kuala Lumpur and I'm doing my um, first Clash Royale video in a while. And guess what guys, I am now Master 1 after so long, I finally reached Master 1 to prove to you guys that I am uh, becoming a pro soon, oh, path to pro. Alright, so today we're not gonna be well donating cards first today we're not going to be uh, highlighting any new decks instead we're going to check out the challenge that was released by supercell and that's called the climb the climb up the arenas and now i've gone through the first two the first part the first two sections oh uh, well i've gone through arena one and arena two with no issue lies i i had a few losses here and there it wasn't that smooth but anyway, um, yeah, and uh, if I don't complete this challenge, I won't be able to move up to Arena Challenge, the, sec the, the second part, which is Arena 4, 5, and 6. Right now, Arena 3 is okay. Uh, we can check out a few of our, my highlights from Arena 1 and Arena 2. Let's see. So the first, the last step I use. I was, I was busy like climbing the ladder, so I don't know if I can find my replace. Let's see. Nope. That's the one. This is on arena. I forgot. This is the challenge. This is why I should really check my one. Oh yeah. So I switched it up. So originally I was using this goblin, this goblin um, hut cycle deck. That I was using the spear goblin, the goblins, goblin barrel, knight, and typical um, easy cycle deck. But I wasn't doing too well because everyone was using giant and hunter and balloon and dragon. It was really really bad so I switched it up I changed it uh, instead of using the goblin hut I used the skeleton uh, instead of the knight I used um, I changed it to better DPS troops which are Valkyrie and Pekka so we're gonna check out this first we're gonna check out this match uh, which match which match which match we're gonna check out ah we're gonna check out this one so I think I can't show my arena 1 challenges, so I'm going to show my arena 2 challenges. The Hog, Skeleton Barrel, Musketeer, Valkyrie, Archers, and you you must go with arrows and and fireball because everyone's just packing goblin barrels and you know so many fireball value troops. So let's go let's watch this one. So because um, not everyone has access to all the cards, um, we're only looking to Arena 1, 2, 3. So once you get to Arena 2, you have access to, to well, the Hog. Uh, that wasn't easy to counter, but you gotta eat up those, yeah, you gotta eat up those uh, damage. Even though, um, even though with the exchange, I thought it was a good exchange because now he can't, well, he can't defend my Hog and I'm getting more damage. After he, he, aggressively put down his hog and his goblin hut, uh, goblin barrel, uh, he had nothing to defend for my hog. Going in, I'm just gonna put down the musketeer to just not get any more damage. Uh, you do not want to give too much damage away or else you there's no coming back. Or else you're gonna have to split your damage and try to get damage from the left and right. So he's going in hard here, I put my Valkyrie down first and then to bait out the hog to go there. So my Valkyrie is taking care of the Valkyrie and the hog at the same time. What is he gonna do here? I think uh, he's gonna put out the baby dragon. I could have fireball here, but uh, the baby dragon is quite a big tank, so it's, there's no there's no point in doing that. And I got one swing, so that's fine. See, guys, it's all about um, cycling and knowing when his card. So I knew that he was gonna do a go uh, he was gonna have his goblin barrel at the ready, so you're gonna have the arrows at the ready. Uh, unfortunately, I did not see his skeleton army uh, coming down, uh, but it's fine, it's fine. I had my Valkyrie at ready, I may be down in Elixir, but he has to be able to defend this. He's definitely going to put his Valkyrie down, so I'm going to go aggressive and bring my Hog down. Yep, and I'm going to take it. I think, I think I take the tower. Do I take the tower? No, I don't take the tower. Yeah, well, the Valkyrie and Baby Dragon takes it. Now how do I deal with this? So I'm going to try to cycle, yep, you see, I will try to cycle as fast as I can to my musketeer. Yes, I'm taking damage, unfortunately, but 
not too bad. The ice that right now his left tower is fireballable, fireballable. So it's it's in fireball ra uh, range. And here's where you gotta be careful. Do not put the archers on the on the side of your damage. Uh, princess tower or else he gets a lot of value now my my archers are still alive they're going at it gonna take care of uh, the baby dragon and I predicted the skeleton army because he, you know because he didn't play it for a while and I, I just thought he was gonna that was his only defense because his Valkyrie was out of cycle I think here's where I think I fireball it yeah I managed not to miss my fireball and just timed it just right so no damage there I'm just trying to pressure him because he he might surprise me he might take my left tower so I need to be able to get both towers uh, but this is a bit of a risky play if you don't play this right you might lose your tower and not take any of the tower but I had to play it just right swarm it I think I, I couldn't freeze it uh, oh yeah I was playing really safe um, yeah I was I was a bit close but you see and good spot a guy from I can't tell if he's Japan he's Japanese in a Chinese clan I think so representing from Malaysia against a China clan all right. So after I reached Arena Three, I I switched it up. I used uh, a witch, uh, not the post witch yet. Uh, although everyone's looking forward to using the witch in the after the update, I used uh, this deck, uh, beat down deck. I I was doing well at first. Uh, yeah. Then I had to switch it up. Yeah, I had to switch it up. Oh wait, no, that's not right. No, I. Oh yeah. Currently, I am one more game to reaching, to well, to completing Arena 3, and that deck is this deck. So let's see how I do, uh, live battle right here for you guys. While you're at it, give us a like down below, comment if, how, you, how did you do in the Arena Challenge? How's it like to go back to, all the way back to Arena 1, must have been a while. It's been like 6 months for me since I've played Arena 1. Alright, let's go at it. So you have the witch and the baby dragon for your splash damage. You have the prince for the big damage to take care of those hogs, and you have the spear goblins and the skeleton just to cycle quick. Arrows and fireballs just mandatory. Okay, I'm fighting someone. Oh boy. Okay, I. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna get all the skeleton now. See what he what he does. What does he do? I could cycle. Oh, I could not. Do I give him value? He's. I'm giving him so much value right now. Oh, targeted there. Gonna have to do that first. Oh, all right. Let's do this. Stay alive. This is gonna be hard. Okay, baby dragon won't be able to kill my prince in time. But I'm gonna put my skeleton on after the explosion so he can take care of that. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Come on, prince. Take a stab at it. Now it's out of reach in time. This guy's a pro. I'm gonna have to let the baby dragon. Um, Take, get one hit. Now it's my turn. What are you gonna do? Mm, do I let him? No, I'm not gonna let him. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm down on the elixir because he didn't really spend much on his push. Uh, and he's gonna have a bigger push coming once like he puts his troop down. I wonder if he has a prince. I really do. Ah, oh, he has that. That's not good. I'm gonna have to find a way to deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna be able to... I'm gonna have to fireball that. And that. Alright, to the rescue skeleton. Alright, my prince is still alive, come on. He will be able to get it. I think he's gonna put on the skeleton. Yeah, I knew it. He's gonna have the goblin just in time. I'm gonna have to eat that up. No stab? One stab! Alright, that's good enough for me. Another one. Okay, this is the battle of the beatdown, guys. This is the battle of the beatdown. He's currently in the lead. Do I put my witch down now? I need me skeletons. Little Larrys, you need to help me out here. Ah, he's splitting his push. He is splitting his push and he's activating my king tower. He's, this guy is really confident. Really confident. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to drag my bear in here, yep. Uh -huh. The thing is, can I put another golem down? Can I? That's fireball range. Oh wait, wow, what happened to my golem? It didn't go down! It didn't go down! Oh uh, well, that's fireball range now. Let's see if I can make it though. 
Uh, I think this guy takes it home. I don't think I'm able to bring this. Yep. Good game. Well played. Yeah. Wave the white flag. I cannot beat that. Uh, I guess he had a better exchange. I don't know what happened to my golem. If I put it down, I would have been able to get through. Damn it. Alright, let's see what was he. Okay, he's pretty good. 7,631 rank. 7,631. Alright, should we change it up? No, let's go back. Let's go back in and win those gems. What we're gonna do? Everyone's just packing golem, is it? Aren't they? Pack the golem. So hopefully my troops can defend this. Luckily there's no lightning, so my witch will still stay alive. Dragon leave, ma. Okay, all right. Baby dragon get targeted. Ah, damn you, Valerie. Okay, get right here. Now one shot. Okay, with the baby dragon vomiting on those uh, minions, I should be able. I didn't need to defend that with the arrows. Bacon love is real, so this clan really loves bacon. SBF mark. Maklar? Maklar? Okay, how do we defend these boys and girls? Which one behind? Which one behind? Yeah, we gotta do which one behind. Uh, I guess arrow it first. So he can get there. And then... Knight. Beat down versus beat down. Boom! Okay, I think I'm in the lead with that exchange because... I had a better troop to deal with the Golo. Does he have a better? I think he's gonna have Valkyrie down. Valkyrie? Valkyrie? Yes, Valkyrie. Sweet Valkyrie, save your butt. And now I need my baby dragon. Do I need my baby dragon? Yes, I do need my baby dragon. Oh, dang, this guy is packing that. Come on, come on, save it. Don't get touched. Alright, baby dragon's still alive. Come on, witch. Mm. Interesting. Nope. You ain't gonna destroy my baby dragon. Ooh. Ooh. You think you got me? But you don't. I'm gonna pack that. Okay. I dare you. I dare you. Bring it down. Bring whatever you got down. Nothing. This guy gave up. This guy gave up. This guy has, has pushed the button and has bailed on his arena tree and with that guys that's how you play with a person that just gave up that's no fun bacon love is real you should get kicked out of that clan man Woohoo! 10 gems and with that guys we've completed the arena challenge of part 1 out of 4 and it's gonna end in the in the next 24 hours. And next one will be two out of four. I don't know what's the next challenge after that. We'll we'll see. Um, I'm for sure there's gonna be some like uh, three knock, uh, three strikes and you're out type of uh, challenge. These ones are all just like practice, uh, sort of the practice format. So there's not much like um, uh, yeah. Well, there's not much tension in this game. Everyone can just lose just like that. Uh, but I'm waiting for the three strikes for out your out challenge, and yeah, guys. So I'm now master one, uh, just just in time because uh, in the next well, hours, 23 hours and 38 minutes, the league will restart. And apparently, there's a new uh, there's a new um, standard to it or the new reset, whereby you don't get reset to all the way down to that set, to that set amount. Instead, you're gonna be it's gonna half. Yeah, half your trophy amounts. So that's great, actually. That's good because for those who like reach four thousand eight hundred, and they don't get to four thousand nine hundred, 
because usually before this when you were at 4,900 you would reset to 4,300 but when you're at 4,899 and you don't get that one trophy to get to just restart at 4,300 you get you have to restart all the way to challenger 1 4,000 so that's great for supercell for looking into that and having your trophies so that you won't be too far off from uh, from climbing the ladder because everybody wants to get to you know to ultimate champion hopefully someday I will get the ultimate champion but I foresee that though when I'll be like 45 years old or I would have hacked the game at least anyway guys that's all from me I hope you enjoyed the video do check out the climb up the arena challenge uh, yeah comment below let me know what you guys think um, of my channel uh, give me your comments below and yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully Reaper ZH will be featured and I'll be interviewing him to give me some tips on how do I reach out to more Clash Royale players because he has a huge volume of players. Uh, I'll put in the link below Reaper ZH YouTube. YouTube Re Reaper ZH. I was getting mixed up. But anyway, check him out. He's a Malaysian Clash Royale player, not from Sabah. 